decision. The decision is now communicated, so it's an historical moment. It's over between... Hey guys, massive breaking news. It's over between Kylian Mbappé and Paris Saint-Germain. Let's jump into the details of the story for Real Madrid, for PSG, for Mbappé and the future into it together. <music> Guys, news of the day, breaking news, massive historical news. Kylian Mbappé has informed Paris Saint-Germain that he's not going to stay at the club beyond this season. So Mbappé will leave Paris Saint-Germain as free agent in summer 2024. The communication from Kylian Mbappé has arrived directly to Nasser Al-Khelaifi. A communication arrived from Kylian Mbappé's camp uh, and from the player himself. I always told you that the crucial moment was when the player was prepared to announce to Nasser Al-Khelaifi himself that he decided on his future. And now the decision has been made because today, on 15th of February, Kylian Mbappé informed Nasser Al-Khelaifi that he is going to leave Paris Saint-Germain. So it's over between PSG and Mbappé. Obviously, now they will communicate together the terms of his exit, something about the salary. He's not going to receive the loyalty bonus from Paris Saint-Germain as part of the gentleman agreement I told you uh, made last summer between Mbappé and Nasser Al-Khelaifi. You remember that last summer Mbappé Mbappé and PSG had a very complicated situation in July. Mbappé was not traveling with the squad for the preseason. So it was a very difficult moment for uh, Kylian Mbappé and Paris Saint-Germain. They fixed the situation, Mbappé, Camp and al khelaifi by moving into a gentleman agreement. And the gentleman agreement was for Kylian Mbappé to not receive the loyalty bonus in case he was leaving the club as free agent and also uh, for Nasser al khelaifi to be the first person to know about Kylian Mbappé's decision. The decision is now communicated, so it's an historical moment. It's over between Mbappé and PSG. What's next? As of today, Kylian Mbappé has not signed anything yet with any club. But Real Madrid keep working on the deal with total confidence. It's the same situation I told you some weeks ago has not changed. Real Madrid are working on it. Real Madrid are confident. Real Madrid believe that this time Kylian Mbappé can really join them. To proceed with the contract uh, signing, it's important to point out a crucial, crucial uh, detail of this story. Real Madrid are offering offering a lower salary to Kylian Mbappé compared to what they offered two years ago. So if Mbappé wants to proceed and sign the contract offered by Real Madrid, he has to accept a lower salary. If Mbappé will play for Real Madrid, he's not going to be for bigger money. He's going to be for different reasons. Obviously, still big money, very big money, very big salary, but different salary compared to what Real Madrid offered two years ago. So it's now time for the formal decision of Kylian Mbappé. But the first part of the story, deciding his future and communicating to PSG has been made. Mbappé on the 1st of July will be a free agent and Mbappé is now free to discuss, negotiate and sign with any club with Real Madrid working on it. They are working on it, of course, with Florentino Perez involved, with all the people in the club involved, but also with total confidence into the club. This is an important point. Real Madrid internally remain confident and this confidence has been shared also in the dressing room. The players talk about it in Real Madrid dressing room and they feel that this can really be the right time to make things happen. Nothing has been signed, nothing is completed yet, but the first main crucial step is now really important because Mbappé informed Paris Saint-Germain of his decision. Now it's on Real Madrid, now it's on Kylian Mbappé, and now it's on PSG because they will continue with their project for the future. So Mbappé will leave the club and will leave also big room to make some investment in the summer. The salary of Mbappé, the loyalty bonus, all this cost will no longer be part of a, a Paris Saint-Germain balance. This is really important for financial fair play. So PSG will sign multiple players, talented players in the summer. PSG will attack the market for top talents. So the idea is to sign an important top talent in the attacking positions. We know that there are many stories about this player, could be Rafael Real, could be others. Let's see what Paris Saint-Germain will decide. But an offensive player is part of Paris Saint-Germain strategy. An important midfielder is also going to be part of Paris Saint-Germain's strategy. They wanted Bernardo Silva one year ago. Let's see if Paris Saint-Germain will return on Bernardo or will go for a younger player in that position. But 
new offensive player, new midfielder, new center back also. Lenny Joro from Lille was a top target already in January and PSG are still following him. Let's see who is the player they decide to sign, but at least three important signings in the summer are coming for Paris Saint-Germain and then extending two important contracts. One is Warren Zaire Emery. The agreement is done to extend the contract of Zaire Emery. And then they will proceed with the contract signings in the next days or weeks. But Zaire Emery is staying at PSG with an important contract and with an improved salary. And then Xavi Simons returning from Red Bull Leipzig and being part of Paris Saint-Germain squad next season. He will also be offered a new contract. So many discussions will take place. But the crucial news of the day is Kylian Mbappé leaving Paris Saint-Germain an historical moment in the transfer market. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this big Mbappe story. I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio.